Good day folks, it's DIYGo123 here. I'm going to show you some pretty cool stuff about one of the special functions I've been playing with. It is the seat match function. Now if you go into the seat match function and pick North America and pick General Motors and you have your ignition key in the on position, this is a 2006 GMC Sierra. It's a light duty truck, GMC truck, Sierra K model. And now this is communicating with the computer to talk to the seat module. And I'm picking the engine, 5.3 liter V8. All this information is correct. Dual zone, manual selection, base radio, under 86 energy, rear drum brakes, and driver seat module. Now I zoom through all those because your vehicle, unless you have this exact truck, your, your path is gonna be slightly different. So if I read a trouble code uh, from this module, no trouble codes, that's pretty cool. And there really isn't the problem with the seat, so I'm just experimenting with the tool. But if there's a trouble code, you could go into live data and you could go into input output. So this would be the selection for uh, switches. So there are switches that control like moving the seat ahead and moving the seat back. I see here horizontal motor forward. It's currently inactive. I'm gonna take that switch and move it forward in three, two, one, move forward. And it's gone to active. And when it did that, of course, the seat moved ahead. And now I'll do in the reverse direction, it should be this one, three, two, one. And it was active. Okay, so we can see very clearly that the signal from the switches is reaching the computer. So if there was a problem with the seat, it wouldn't be in the switch or up to the computer wiring. Uh, that's cool. Uh, there's also other interesting uh, switches and motor signals that can be monitored here. Wow, there's a lot. Wow, uh, that's an awful lot. Driver seat, heat zone, passenger seat, heat zone, all that kind of stuff. So that's a lot on the input output data. Then if we look at the sensors, these are the sensors that tell the computer in what position the seat is in. And uh, I don't know what values these are, but probably resistance values I would imagine. Um, but they are showing the positions and voltages of several types of sensors that govern the seat. That's pretty interesting. And then if we get into the memory, because this, this has an option to program for one or two passengers. So whenever you get in, you can press that button and it'll reconfigure according to your geometry. And then if someone else has it programmed, they can press the two button and it will reconfigure automatically to their geometry. And this is just showing those memory values. I'm not super interested in that, but let's go into actuation test. If we look at the front up down, uh, this seat raises and lowers automatically. And uh, what I'm going to do is I will press the up button and you'll see that goes to in progress. Oh, I think the seat's already all the way up. All right, now I will press the down button. And it's definitely going down. And now I will press, press the up button. Here, I'll set the camera on my leg and we'll just watch it happen. Up. So using this tool talking to the computer, we can control the motors to go up and down. So if you have an issue, you can use this technique to show you when there's a problem with the switch or the wiring from the switch to the computer or from the computer back to the seat motor. And uh, it's, it's pretty interesting stuff. It would be helpful to have this information when troubleshooting a seat issue. Okay, so that's a quick special function on power seat diagnosis using this tool, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it.